Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Tri Jam 144. I've not played this game jam before, uh, so it should be fun. This is a game jam where people have three hours to make a game, which is a very short amount of time. The theme is Lifeline. I'll be playing each game for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games in the description so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description. If you want to support this type of content, consider supporting me on Patreon or following me on Twitter. Let's get into the jam. We're playing Imitation Bison Cauliflower Salad, which feels like four random words, you know? It's now gotten control of my mouse. Perfect, because my mouse is kind of going out. Oh, all right, so we'll go this way. I feel like my feet are a ball. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm rolling a bit. But I might not be. I don't know. This feels really cryptic, you know? It's like some people statues holding bricks, some sort of weeping tree. Oh, a bunch of weeping trees. Can we like jump off? No, we can't jump off. We actually can't fall off. Oh, okay. Here I am trying to be like not fall off, but I actually can't. Apparently there's uh, five purple-headed figures you can spot along the way. Definitely feels like curious, mysterious. Next. We're playing Lifeline. Enter, press enter for runner. Alright. Oh, and that's falling from the sky and we can't hit it, right? Should we sacrifice it? Are we meant to hit that thing? I don't know. I feel like we should get points for making it across and not getting hit, but maybe we do want to get hit. Like, are we doing the right thing, or I don't know. Maybe this is what we're meant to do. Oh, darn it, and that reset us. Okay, good to know. Interesting. Too far. Next. We're playing Tri Jam 144 Lifeline, which is just the name of the jam, but, you know. I quite like this graphic style. My flashlight's gonna run out very soon. I can feel it. It says, do not get lost. You charge up your flashlight when you click and hold them. Oh, lamp posts. Okay, well I haven't seen any lamp posts to click and hold to charge my battery, so probably gonna die, not gonna lie. So Yeah, I died. Okay, so these lamp posts. Let me click it. Okay. But I've not seen any lamp posts when I played. Maybe I have to go forward. Maybe I just picked like the wrong place to go. Yeah, I feel like my battery oh there's lamp posts. Good, 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 good. Look at that, stole some of the lamps, charge. Must be heading the right way because there was a lamp and I, ooh, there's another lamp and I charge from it. Uh, i uh, be safe and go towards the other lamp. Right. Maybe this way then? No, part of me feels like I should have doubled back, but yeah, it's just a dead end, okay. Next. We're playing Life Slice. Well, so we want to avoid that thing. I don't know, I'm just kind of moving around making like a fun pattern. Oh wait, he's moving around making a fun pattern too. Oh my goodness. That almost hit me. I feel like we're quite lucky. But I want to dance with some of these, but I can't make bumps up and down as fast, you know? Wow, that was a jump. Yeah, you're gonna... Oh my goodness. That's like attacking me. We combined. Can I combine with you then? Oh no, ow, that did not combine with me. I got confused. Because <laughs> I combined with yellow. Huh. Next. We're playing the line. Reach the top of the building. Watch the enemies don't touch your rope. They will cut it for sure. Dodge their bullets. Use arrow keys. Okay. Oh, we can just, like, go up quickly. Oh. That was going up as fast as humanly possible. Oh, but my bullets 
can shoot their bullet. Oh, and can I move left and right? No. Right, so their bullets can touch my rope, so I could just go slower. I don't want to go slower, though, because more up here, you know? I'm not good at this. You know, I'm not very good at this at all. It feels like a very hectic game. <laughs> I quite like it though. I wish their bullets were a different color to my bullets. I think that would help me immensely in understanding exactly what is going on. But I mean, for a game made this quickly, everything works. It is a bit interesting. Oh, actually, I've slowed down, and so have, like, enemy spawnings. So maybe just going up as fast as possible is not the best idea. <laughs> Next. We're playing cast a lifeline. Oh no, some poor pups have been washed down the stream. Press space to cast out your hook to catch the dog swimming past. Be careful not to break your hook. Alright, I see I have broken my hook and not saved the dog. Got one dog, okay. I like to save ten dogs, but I've already like lost more than one dog. Oh, that one didn't work. Why didn't it work? When you mess up one, it has a knock-on effect. This is a really difficult game. No, and my timing's just off as well. And if I get this dog, I will also get a stick, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, I got that one. Cool. Also, can dogs swim? Just, just a question. Yeah, we got that one. I feel like the dogs could and maybe would swim to me. No. Next. This game feels too loud, but it also won't let me lower the volume. So I'm sorry. Like, it won't let me. Graphic style looks kind of cool, though. A dealer. Of what exotic, exotic goods? Do you have my pills? Yeah, man, about that. <laughs> what? I lost my supply. You what? Yeah, man, I get my stuff from a pharmacist far out from here. Man's all got all sorts of stuff. Supposedly, he keeps them at the back of his pharmacy. Good to know. A pharmacy, that just sounds like a contrivial plot device made by an amateur game developer making a game for Tri-Jam, and it's running out of time. Sounds great. What? What? Anyways, he just stopped sending the drugs to this part of town. No, uh, maybe because he lived too far away. I don't know why. Sorry, man, but you're out of luck. But hey, I'm thinking of starting a business doing something else. Maybe selling something legal for once. <laughs> oh, maybe. If you got anything you want to sell, just tell me. I'll pay you a hefty price for it. Anything. I've got some leaves to sell. Do you want it? Like, what do we do? I don't want to talk to him. He seems, uh, not great, so... Is this it? Is this the place? It's all a blue cross, you know? A little blue line. Oh, it's just a shop. Interesting game. Next. We're playing Baywatch. Save white blobs by strategically moving your three rescue staff colored blobs. Left mouse to activate a player and then WSD to move. Alright. So I'm taking this blob. Alright, and then we need this blob to do this side. But we will switch to that one. It just keeps moving whatever direction you were last at. Just FY. So you can just like set it up to go. I'm just going to do that, that area real quick. And then we'll do blue for a bit. Grab that. Interesting. I like the graphic style. I think it looks very pretty. Kind of like different cutout bits of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> different colored bits of paper. But like the tissue paper all on top of each other. How are you doing in here? There's always tons in here and they're all so close together that the orange one is really easy to just do. I'm just letting the red one go so that it can kind of creep off on its own is quite fun as well. well. There's only seven seconds. All right, quick, we'll use the the orange. Probably should have saved all the orange ones for like the last moment, you know? Hmm. Next. That was actually the last game that I can play from this jam. There was another game entered, but it didn't work for me, so I couldn't play it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed the Tri Jam.
बाय